Hey guys, it's Amy. Um, I've been promising an update for a while now and I haven't done it. Um, there's just a lot of things going on, but I want to do a really quick update to um, just let you know about some stuff and hopefully I will be uploading more frequently. Um, Basically, what happened with the Actimera infusion last time was that I had had a reaction to it, and I chose not to continue. Um, I went to my rheumatologist, and she put me on some pre-meds for the infusion. Um, normally, for pre-meds, they would do Benadryl, like, they would do Tylenol, Benadryl, yeah, Benadryl, like some pepsids and they just help with the stomach and then steroids by all that by IV or Tylenol isn't by IV but anyway um normally they would do all of that but she didn't want me she wanted to try everything except the steroids which I'm all for because you know how steroids make us women feel <laughs> um so Last month, when I had my infusion, I went and I got, um, I took two, two Tylenol. When I got there, they gave me two Tylenol, and then they did the IV, and when my medicine was actually mixed and came to the infusion center, then they put Benadryl in my IV as well as the Pepsi or whatever. Um, I didn't think I was going to be that affected by the Benadryl, because I'm someone that can take two Benadryl and still function perfectly fine, <laughs> but that wasn't the case. I was completely drugged up, <laughs> and my brother had to take me and um, pick me up and everything because there was no way I could drive. That was crazy. So luckily I didn't have any reaction to it. Um, so I'm going to stay on Octimera. Thank you, Lord. Um, and I'm just going to do the pre-meds. Um, she said, you know, if I do have another reaction to it, then they could try adding steroids or just changing the medication. Um, so we're going to try this for a couple of months. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with osteoarthritis as well lately. Um, so it's it's been crazy nightmare. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. I had my notes on what the pre-meds were, but I couldn't really read them because, I mean, look at my handwriting. It's like, blah. So, Jen Dot, I wanted to mention her. Um, she has a blog on, um, WordPress, uh, Living Room, and... When I tried, I tried to look it up before this video, and it says she had deleted it. I don't know if the internet's just being freaky or if she really did, but she did something really nice, and she mentioned my YouTube channel on her blog. So I figured I probably should uh, mention her blog on my YouTube channel. Um, but she does a lot of posts, and it really makes me feel at home when I read them because it's like I know what you're going through, and you know. So she's she's really cool. Um, yeah, I just want to make this quick update. I'm going to be making videos a little bit more frequently. Um, I recently... I, I just I just have more time on my hands now, I guess you could say. Um, and I, I really want to talk about the more embarrassing things that can happen with arthritis and all these chronic illnesses. And hopefully... Hopefully... Um, get some, some support there. Um, so yeah, that's my update. Everything's going fine. I'm still on Timra and Plaquenil, Arriva, um, Celebrex, Aleve, Ibuprofen, stuff. So, see you.